All right, auto to manual transmission swap, O2 Ford Mustang V6. So this is what you will need. You have to have one of these, um, unless you want you have a local tuner that can tune. <laughs> these Ford PCMs, the dealership cannot reprogram the automatic to manual. They can't do that. I tried, um, they weren't able to do it, so I ended up having to go get another PCM. Um, really not all that difficult to get out there's like two mounting bolts on it um, and one big bolt that holds it all together walk out here to the Mustang and I can show you where this is at so this is the automatic that is not the part number that you need um, you want to get one that's about the same year that way everything's gonna work you're not gonna have issues I ended up getting mine from the junkyard I want to say I spent 25 bucks on it something like that and then <laughs> Luckily, I work at the dealership, so they just hooked me up. I ended, didn't end up paying anything for it, them to program it. So, but the usual program's only about an hour, so you're anywhere from 90 bucks to $110 just to reprogram a PCM, but they're quick and easy. And basically, you just need to get it installed, and then you're re basically just reprogramming the pads, the anti-theft system. Um, but so you know, you can see I've got my new short shifter in. Um, so you know the PCM is on the passenger side under here. You've got one clip which, hey look at that, I didn't get mine back in there. Back in there and then this has to come up. This just pulls straight up. Just kind of work it slow and take your time going across it so you don't break anything. And then this pulls straight this way and then out that way. There's a couple of clips holding it into place. Um, but yeah, that PCM is real quick and easy to access. Um, and then you don't want to swap it out till you get to the dealership. Um, if you want to have them install it, you can just hand it to them. Um, and then they can install it and then reprogram the PAT system for you. Or um, I was lucky enough, the dealership, I work on the Nissan side, so I just went and talked to one of the Ford technicians. And so he just had me pull it in the shop and pull the PCM out, swap it out, and then he just walked over in between while he was working on other cars and just reprogrammed it for me, so didn't waste his time and able to get it done nice, quick, and easy, but yeah, that's that'll wrap it up. And that resolved all of my speedometer issues, my, um, basically every issue. Um, and again, I reused, or I used the, uh, manual transmission harness which plugs into the automatic same place that the automatic unplugs it'll plug right in everything works everything's good to go um, the other thing you need to do which i haven't done yet been busy with other projects and it's not too big of an issue but it it is an issue what you need to do once you get obviously your clutch pedals in is up in here right there you can see that connector with that jumper in it that needs to be un that you need to unplug that jumper and then plug that in to your clutch let's see if I can get a angle on it the LED bar of course is in the way your clutch right up above it if you can see it all the way up there but it needs to be plugged in up there probably have to undo part of the harness undo some of the electrical tapes you can wrap it up in there but that will basically just allow you to uh, so that the clutch will have to be pushed in before the car will start um, mine I always make sure it's in neutral before I start it make sure I push the clutch in just a good habit to have um, but yeah, it all works really well. Shifts great. You've got a ton more power, and I think you lose something like 150 pounds or something like that when you do the swap. So pretty awesome, pretty sweet. Um, I've also got that old automatic transmission. If any of you want to keep it, keep your automatic, but it's gone bad. Um, I've got one. I mean, you'd have to come pick it up. I'm all the way up here in Logan, Utah, but. Uh, yeah, all done.